My name is Julia and I'm going to teach you some Greek dancing today. We're going to focus on two tutorials which are based on traditional Greek dancing that you would normally do at weddings and parties. First one is called the Sitaki and the second one is called Kalamacherno. I hope you enjoy. So the first thing we're going to learn is the Sitaki which is also known as Zorba. This is a dance traditionally done in many weddings. So if you're going to any Greek weddings, this is one of the first dances you should learn. So a little bit of history around the Sirtaki. Um, it's based, it's actually one of the newer forms of um, Greek dancing. So it's actually, it started in around 1960s uh, where Mikis Theodorakis, he basically choreographed this dance, which is made up of the Chasapiko and Chasaprasevico which um, are two traditional dances and he merged the two for his movie Zorba the Greek. So I'm going to teach you the basic steps and it goes something like this. So we normally stand with our arms on each other's shoulders and we start stepping to the side. So you step to the side, you step behind, you step to the side, you kick left, step, kick right. Okay, so let's repeat that. So we start by going step, behind, step, kick left, step, kick right. And you just repeat that going around. So we normally go one, two, step, left, right. One, two, step, left. And you can add a little hop. Two, step, hop, hop. One, two, step, hop, hop. And that's the basic sirtaki. Okay, so the beginning of the sirtaki has other steps, which is called chasapiko. So we're not going to do that in today's tutorial, it's a little bit more difficult, but we'll move into the chasapa cervical part of it. So you're going to go step behind, step, kick left, step, kick right, step behind, this is a slow pace, left, and we pick it up, one, two, step, left, right, one, two, left, right, one, two, left, right. That's the sirtaki. And then it goes faster and faster and faster. <laughs> so with the sirtaki, the zoba of the Greek, we normally dance it in a large group of people going around in a circle. So it's a very festive dance done at weddings, birthdays and big celebrations. So once you've done the basic step, which we've just gone over, we basically get people, everybody up onto the floor and we all dance together with the leader on the right hand side of the train. So I'd like to join, get some people to join me and we're going to learn the group yeah, Zorba. I don't want to be the leader either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like we said, so we're stepping to the right, step behind, step kick left, step, kick right, step behind, step left, nice, step, so we're going to go one, two, step, hop, hop, one, two, step, hop, hop, excellent. So we repeat this and we stick to the pace of the music, starts nice and slow and then eventually we start hopping and jumping and kicking. Okay, so this is going to be nice and slow first. Okay, ready? And so, step behind, step left, step right. Good, nice and easy. Step behind, step left. Okay, we're still going slow. One, two, step left, right. One, two, step. There we go, nice. One, two. Okay, so you're getting a little bit of a flick, flick, and a hop. Nice. Excellent. Okay, one, two, step, left, right, one, two, left. Yes. Okay, so now what you're going to do is, every time you start a new set, you go down, left, right, down, left. Nice. So the second 
dance we're going to be learning, which is also a traditional dance done at lots of Greek celebrations, is called the Kalamatiano. This is one of the oldest Greek dances. It originates from around the Middle Ages and it is known as the traditional dance of Greece. It's one of the most popular, well-known dances that's done all over the world in celebration of Greek events and our cultural heritage. So, this, this step, or this dance, it's basically made up of little steps um, and it goes slow and fast. So it's literally only 12 steps. That's all it is. It's just about getting the timing and getting a little bit of a style with a little bit of a run and a step in between. So, the step works like this. So we normally hold each other's hands for this one when we also dance in a group. And we also move in a circle going around towards your right. Okay, so what we do is we're going to, so you're going to step for the count one, step, behind, step. So that's the first three counts. So we go one, two, three, four. Then you walk five, six, seven, forward, eight, back nine, back ten, finish twelve. So looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back, 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 forward, start. Let me do that with the counts. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's all it is. And basically, you've got to go to the, to the beat of the music. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so the person in the front will do some tricks while the person, the people at the back just follow with the basic. So, here yeah, I'm doing in the front. Awesome. Hope you guys had lots of fun learning how to Greek dance and please remember to follow and subscribe. If you have any further questions or you need any information, follow me on social media and I'd be happy to answer your questions. I'd like to thank Zorba Tarverna in Boxburg for hosting us and allowing us to use their awesome venue. My name is Julia and this is My Flow Tactics. Opa! Hope you guys had lots of fun. Um, you see, now you jinx me. <laughs> Venue? No, just start again. Ah! My name is Julia, and I'm on Marflow Tactics. No, that's wrong. <laughs>